everybody, it's Lisa from Shabby Road Studio. Today is December 1st, and you know what that means. It is the first day of December 2023. Yes, it's finally arrived. So today's prompt says opening, and I have watched a couple of videos from other creators this morning um, who are using the word opening as the prompt. However, when I watched Louisa's and Barbara's videos this morning, they are not using the word opening as their prompt, they're using the word door. So I guess I'm gonna do a door. And I, I took the opening to mean that this was the opening of Defemember, the first day, the opening day, so. But it could mean whatever. Opening a door means opening, I guess. So I'm going to do a door. So let's get started with that. Um, this is my Defemember um, journal cover that I made, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, I guess. I've just thrown a few odd pages in here. Um, it's just a artsy kind of junk journal cover. I didn't go with the whole theme that everybody's using, the printables that have the little effy guy on it. I didn't go that route. Um, I'm just kind of doing my own thing as far as that goes. So this will be my cover for placing the finished products in after each one. So, okay. Let's put that aside. So today I'm going to use this to like a mini file folder or a file, you know what I mean. And it's just the right size for this because I can punch holes in it and it will fit in here. So I'm going to go with this. I'm going to start out by gluing this awesome piece of scrapbook, scrapbooking paper onto this. So that's what we're going to do first. Um, let's see. I'm going to... I guess I'm going to use art glitter glue today. I had that problem last night. My glue keeps tipping over. To get it to the edge so I don't have to cut too much off. And then I learned this cool trick from another content creator on YouTube. Just kind of use a brayer to smooth out all of the glue. So that's our back background of the door. So I have this piece of cardboard, corrugated cardboard, and I had an idea to use this on the front. end is better here. Maybe we can cut. About there. That means that comes about there. I think that's about the right size. 
Okay, that looks a little, yeah, that was a little crooked. That was a little tricky, cutting that with my paper cutter. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Now my thought was I wanted a section of this to open up so I could have something in the middle. Not sure my idea is going to work, but I kind of just wanted this to open up like that, still be attached. Maybe I should go this way. Huh? Yeah, that'll work better. Okay, no worries, we'll flip it around. So I just gathered a few things that I thought might um, work for this. So I'm going to be painting the door, the front of the door, in this grotto chalk paint. Love this color, and I love chalk paint. It's going to go pretty well with the, the background of this part of the door. Um, and then I've selected this piece of it's a Tim Holtz it's from a Tim Holtz paper pad that's going to be on the inside we're going to go with this little dude this Tim Holtz paper doll guy it's going to be in there so let's get the door painted I got a piece of a little piece of atlas paper here to so I don't get paint all over. The nice thing about chalk paint is that it dries fast, but we're going to dry it with a heat tool anyways just to get it done faster. Okay, I've got this painted and dried. I painted the other side. Um, I'm going to put a door knob type thing on the front of this door. So I've got this brad that kind of matches. But then I thought, see if this will cut through this. I don't know if it will. It seems a little thick. Oh, shoot. I wanted to cut a circle out of this. I know. I'm going to smash this down a little bit. Okay. Hoping to cut a circle. Nope. Nope, it's not gonna happen. Okay. I guess I gotta do it myself. I guess it's good to know. Okay. So I was thinking that would just give a little bit more. Yeah, I 
don't like it that color though, for sure. This is a new ink pad, but it looks so light. I don't know. Hmm. I guess it's not going to make a difference on that. Okay, let's scratch that. Let's paint it. It'll give uh, depth, but it won't stand out so much as if it's just left brown. Yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. Hmm. It's super light. Let's use the ink, Distress ink. Espresso is going to be a little darker. There we go. I just kind of wanted a little bit more contrast with this. And then we're going to do this little circle because we don't want that to be undistressed. Okay. Yeah, like that better. So. that brad is long enough to go through both pieces. That's going to be the trick. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it is. Shoot. Yeah. Let me check, see if I have a different one. Yes, uh, I have a longer one, but it's not fancy. So we're just going to go with that one. our drawer. Now we need to cut a piece to go inside of this. Okay, I cut this piece. So now I'm going to glue it get got to get our guy in there right so he's going to be leaning on this 
I don't know how well you can see. He's going to be leaning on that. But I wanted him to have something. Sorry, it's probably hard to see this. I wanted him to have something to stand on. So I coffee dyed these tickets. And I thought I would have him kind of leaning on this and standing on the tickets. Get him in the right spot. Probably. I'm really good at making crooked things. Okay. Come on, guys. I like it. Let's get some glue on the back of this paper doll. Okay. So I'm make sure his arm, his hand is leaning right there. Get him down. happy with that. Um, let's see. kind of wanted to put a stamp on the front of this door. I got these awesome stamps, guys. And this one is so far my favorite. Let's see. It's going to be this big stamp because this isn't going to be... Eh. Now the trick is to get these right side up. Yeah, that's the right way. I would be mad at myself if I put them upside down, but it wouldn't surprise me, literally. Okay, where is my black? Yeah, I'm going to use black. I don't really have a good brown. and The Distress Ink doesn't really... I don't have enough in that to get this inky enough. So I'm going to use black. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go... Right there. I'll see how that looks. You know what the worst case scenario is this stamp messes up the door and I just have to paint the door again. So I guess that's the worst case scenario. All right. Ta-da. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. It's grungy. Grungy looking. I like it. Love this stamp so much. Got several of them like this with the different numbers and a little tape measure look on them. Yeah, so fun. Okay, I'm liking it so far. I feel like it might need something in here. Okay, so this is part of a stamp on a piece of book paper, book page paper. So it's that really soft. Anyway, I used one of my new stamps and I just cut out a piece of it. I think, I think, oh, that's a little long. I was gonna kind of put that under his hand. Yeah, maybe I'll have to take some off. Gotta grunge it up a bit. That's that's better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I actually like that. Um 
I love using my uh, postal stamp. I just, I find it fun. Most everywhere. <laughs> Most of all my grungy journals, there's a postmark somewhere. Now, okay, so that's, that's the front. Should we have a saying inside or is there too much writing already? I hate to put, I don't know. I don't really want to put that on the outside of the door because I got these. Well, let's see. Let's look in the black letters. Here an open heart so they can do it with passion. Okay, I picked one I really love. It says, when nothing is sure, everything is possible. But it's too long, so we're going to cut it in half. And then we're going to put some extra glue on the back. Because these are sticky, but they're not, they're not really sticky. Like, I don't usually trust them to stick on their own. Down here, there's a lot of writing already. We're just gonna go with it. We're gonna and of course, I'm always crooked. Come on, Lisa, get it together, girl. When nothing is sure, everything is possible. I love it. Okay, so um, I'm gonna glue this down, but I want to distress this. Oh, what am I gonna do with that? What am I gonna do with that? Oh, I know. I know. Save that piece. Fix the spots that didn't glue. Okay, so this is the way it's going to face. So this is the paper template that was out of the book uh, that this ring binder came out of. So. I can use that with everything I make so that I can line up the ring holes. Yeah. So that I can fit it in the journal properly. Oh boy. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. This is too thick for my little puncher. Okay, hang on. Else fails to bring in the big guns. So, it's not going to be as large of a hole because this doesn't punch this size, but it will punch it for sure. So, let's get that back where it belongs. I mean, yeah, it's not as big of holes, but this is pretty thick for that punch of mine. Or maybe my punch is so old that it doesn't want to go through. I don't know. Now we need to glue this onto here. So about like, about right there, I think. Uh, fabric fix. Because, well, this is pretty heavy. And I can go faster with this. It stinks, but it's a pretty good glue. Come on, stay on there. 
Okay. Whew, yeah. I don't know. Whoever made that it's just, wow, stinks terrible. Um, let's see. Yep. So we kind of wiggle it a bit to get it, the glue spread out. Just trying to get this stuck good back here. Um, yeah. So I think that's it, folks. This is uh, this is day one of Defemerever. It is opening or door as Louisa and Barbara made for their prompt today, and. So we made a door that opens. Does that look crooked? Oh my gosh, I'm starting to break out here. Yeah, all right. It's good, it's good enough. Now let's put it in the journal. So we'll just pop it right in there. Yeah, it fits good on there. There is our first prompt, the door. Hello. All right. Well, thanks for putting up with me today. I'm not the greatest at these impromptu uh, prompt a day videos. Uh, it's a little outside my comfort zone, but I'm definitely going to give it another try. So that's all for today, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.